guys, today we are going to make this cute little flyer for my small business. But not before we check out the entire reason I decided to do this in the first place. Um, so if you've been following the channel for a little while, hello, how are you guys doing? Glad you're back. And if you haven't, my name is Grace and I am the owner of a small business called The Rusty Thicket. I am an artist and I specifically lean into the nature more, even more specifically, the goblin core um, side of things. So frogs and mushrooms and leaves, 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 and um, you know, overgrown things, uh, skulls, that kind of stuff. Um, but here lately, I have been teaching classes. Something I started in April with a uh, community center here on the base that my husband and I are stationed at with the Air Force and I never expected it to go where it has or even honestly to have the gumption to do it in the first place. Um, but I have an event coming up called Craft Cella, something that the Arts and Crafts Center hosts and I have to make 40 bookmarks or at least outline 40 bookmarks and that's what I'm prepping here and uh, this is going to be the um, just the example of what we'll be painting in that class and I've been really trying to push my classes lately so something not just for this event specifically but you know my, my classes in general so year-round um, I do get I think a decent amount of people but I would really like to fill my classes up more so I thought one of the good things to do for this specific event, since it's supposed to be so large, and since I've got a lot of face-to-face -face time with even more people taking this little mini class, um, I thought I would create a flyer so that I can stick it in everybody's bag when they leave and they know how to sign up for my classes in the future. Um, I really think considering everything that is available here in Okinawa on this island and even on this base, especially compared to some other bases, people just have so many, so many things that they could do. Uh, just an unreal list of stuff they have available to them, especially since COVID is no longer, you know, an issue the way that it was. Um, and things were shut down before. So I just wanted to try and get myself a little bit ahead and in people's minds, especially after leaving this event. Um, so I thought I would do a little time lapse of this uh, painting, which I'll, I'll turn it into a time lapse for my Facebook page so they can see what they're painting later. But um, just uh, add a flyer to their bag when they purchase something or after they're done with this class or something they can pick up from the front desk on their way out so that they have all of my information and they know how to take some of the other classes that I'm going to be offering towards the end of this year still also, but definitely more into next year. Um, I'm really hoping that the classes pick up specifically for my sort of off season, which is between January and April, or at least it was last year. I know we are working on trying to get more events and things to happen um, in those cooler months. It's kind of wild to me that so much is available in the summertime when it is, in my opinion, disgusting outside. Uh, the humidity here is something unreal. Um, but I feel like if uh, we don't get those events, especially, um, and I don't want to bank on the idea that we could, um, I really want to push these classes. So I'm hoping to do larger events, squadron sized events. Uh, that terrifies me, if I'm honest, but it's also kind of exciting. Um, but since I'm going to do these bookmarks, I, it's free and it's for 40 people. They just have to sign up through Arts and Crafts. Um, I do think there's an entry fee, but the class itself, you know, there's nothing additional on top of that. And what they'll get to do is paint this leaf with my instruction, including these super cute um, splashes here at the end. I really like these because specifically in these colors, I think they look like a strawberry Pop-Tart. Um, but it was important that when I created this flyer, it looked artistic, it did not break the bank, it was informative, and, uh, you know, something that they would see as 
my brand without it being, you know, like a stick in the mud. I wanted it to be very artistic. Um, and we'll get to that here in just a second. I just wanted to, sh to really show you guys the reason I'm doing this in the first place, besides obviously getting my information out. Um, these classes are becoming more and more important to me and I just wanted a good reason to make a flyer, I guess, and it's just weird to self-promote sometimes, so having a class instead of just being like, hey, come buy my art seems like a lot better reason um, for me personally. But uh, after I add these little embellishments, which are some of my favorite things to do in my classes with people, a lot of uh, watercolor artists don't teach this way, I guess, or even teach with these kinds of materials. Um, and I think that sort of helps me stand out which I like. Um, but yeah, we'll get right into it. So I use Procreate, uh, as you can tell here in just a second. And I, oh yeah, before I get to that, I guess, um, I am offering a plastic sleeve and your choice of a fall colored tassel at the end of this class. So it's really worth what they are paying for an entry fee because there's also lots and lots and lots of other vendors doing similar things where they have small classes or um, you know tutorials that they're doing but yeah that's it and these are the pretty fall tassels i picked all of them out and you will get to select your own if you are here in okinawa and you know what i'm talking about um, so i took an old flyer that i had made for a show i did in uh, New Mexico when we were there. I really like the shape. I like the simplicity of the black and white so my laser printer can then print on any color paper. I specifically chose green for this one because it's more my color I guess for my my business but also I felt like it would really stand out um, compared to some of the other flyers I have seen so far. Um, but this way I didn't have to use my color ink and I'm really struggling with getting the ink here to begin with in Okinawa, so it was important that my laser printer would do this instead of the inkjet. Um, I wanted to put a ton of info on it, but not to like completely overwhelm people, so that's why I decided on the QR codes. And I wanted it to look like my brand, but I didn't want my logo on it necessarily because it took up a lot of space. So I just used my name and Kadena Arts and Crafts because that's where I'm hosting these paintings. And then I wanted their sign up information and my social media information. And then I just wanted it to look really cute. Um, I was a little vague on prices because I want them to uh, go and actually look at the uh, different things available. And then I'm also adding a certificate for the year of 2024. If you take six or more of my classes, you get a cute little certificate printed out and then I embellish it with gold and stuff. And it's just another reason to get people to do multiple classes because I love a certification. Comment down below if you guys love a certification. Anything that says I've done something with a little gold star, that's all me. So I thought that would be fun. All right, and then after I put that on a single eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, I told the printer to have that printed out. Um, again, I did pick a colored paper, so the black and white would end up being color. Um, this is the largest, I could only fit four on this because if I went any smaller, you wouldn't be able to read them very easily. Um, plus they're large enough that they take up a decent portion of the bag and they won't get like left behind. People will notice them. Same with sitting on a table. They'll be large enough to be noticed. Um, anything smaller just probably wouldn't have worked. So then I just cut them out. This uh, cutting board is super easy to use because it's got that straight edge. And I wasn't too particular. I didn't want them to be, you know, too exact I guess they are just a flyer I wasn't trying to do too much more work than I had already made for myself <laughs> um, but then I just bagged them up and the great part is that they were about half the size of the bag already and I fold those in half to store them for my event so it was great 
Um, but yeah, this, that's it guys. That's all I have for you today. Uh, I know this video is a little on the short side, but I have lots going on. This season has proved to be quite busy. Uh, I have one coming up on Saturday and then two more Saturdays from there is this big event for Craft Cella that I'm getting ready for. So, um, yeah, busy bee. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this flyer or if you would like more details on how to do that. I could do a better video later on um, how I set those up. But until next time, I will see you later. Bye guys. Thank you.